Now with the bonus league and Premier League over, we can take a look back at the most important stories of both leagues. The bottlers. Let's start with Arsenal. After finishing fifth last year and bottling Champions League, they came back stronger this season and were on a run with their new attack, Jesus, Martinelli, and Saka. And they were taking the league by storm, being on top of the table till April after having moment after moment after moment where it looks like the title was theirs until Saliba gets injured against Sporting Lisbon in the first leg. Then they crash out in penalties against Sporting, tie Liverpool, tie West Ham, tie bottom soon to be relegated Southampton, being 3-1 down, then losing to eventual champions Man City and losing 3-0 to Brighton and 1-0 to Forest. It's just a horrible run. And I believe the injury to Saliba was the reason of this horrible run. From Saliba to Rob Holding, it's such a big downgrade and it cost them. Now they need to regroup with being in the Champions League. They can start attracting new players to fill in the gaps to support them for the next season. The future is bright, but wasn't their season at the end of it. Now with Dortmund, the BBV and Bayern were fighting all the way until the end. Dortmund were winning big games against the likes of Wolfsburg, Mönchengladbach, and Augsburg, winning in big margins and looking dominant. With Bayern slipping in match day 33 against RB Leipzig 3-1, Dortmund were in front and looking to win the Bundesliga for the first time in 11 years and giving Royce a trophy the football world truly wanted to see. All they needed to do was to beat Mainz at home. Unfortunately, it was too tall of a task. They go down 2-0 in 25 minutes and looking not like themselves. In, in the second half, they only scrape a tie, which could have secured the title if only youngster Musiala scored in the 89th minute and giving the title to Bayern never happened. Now Dorman needs to look at a future where young talent Bellingham could be on the move and leaving a gigantic hole in the midfield. Could this have been the last big run for Royce or will Dortmund scouts find another prodigy and build a team back up for another title run for next year? Only time will tell for next year. With the summer transfer window coming up, look for these teams to sign players that could help them and fill in the gaps to finally raise the titles they were so close to get their hands on.